Islands, the Creole City. The Creole label has been popular for years and shows no signs of disappearing. Neither does the controversy over what Creole really means, especially when Creole people are involved. It means what the person uh, who uses it thinks it means and the person who receives it accepts as that meaning. And certainly, let us say, in my household when I was a child, oh, c'est une vieille créole, meant uh, purely and simply she's a white woman of uh, French language born in Louisiana. I call myself a person of Creole descent because of my knowledge of my family history and the people as far back as I can trace who called themselves Creoles. Well, Webster defined the Creole as anyone living in New Orleans and Louisiana. I don't know, that's very vague, I think, uh, but I think the definition of the Creole is of uh, French and Spanish and uh, Negro blood. I think uh, that would be my definition of uh, Creole. Hello, I'm Peggy Scott Laborde at the Hermann Grima House in the French Quarter, the home of two early Creole families of New Orleans. We've all heard the meaning of Creole debated dozens of times with little agreement. Join us as we take a look at what we call the Creole controversy. frequently asked questions in New Orleans history is what does the term Creole mean? And that question is so caught up in our unique past that it's hard to understand one without considering the other. Argued about at home, Creoles are an even greater mystery to most outsiders, whose attempts to portray them usually add to the existing confusion. 